Hello. I will show you today how to use decision making in C language. We use, we use conditional statements which allow you to make decision based upon the result of a condition. There are four types of uh, decision making. The first one is using if statement. An if statement will basically use it to execute some code if a condition is true otherwise if a condition is false execute nothing so we have this is the main branch if it's true we'll execute the, the statement to branch one if it's false in the program let's take a ex simple example so let me just write include standard IO okay so we have this compare between two variables variable a and integer b and we have an if statement says simple condition if it's a greater than b then print if person d greater than person d and we have A and B so if it's A greater than B then print A greater than B and let me put a new line okay let's build it and run it oh sorry forgot to define some variables so values so if it's a 10 and b equal 5 so this is a mistake okay now run it again now yeah as you see this is the output so 10 is greater than 5 the next one is the if else statement in if else statement we, uh, we use it to execute some code if a condition is true otherwise if a condition is false execute nothing or execute some other code so we can use the same like here actually I'm showing another chart for the if else statement so if it's true execute the statement of branch one otherwise execute statement of branch two so we can use the same statement uh, the same code but we will add else so if it's we can say that if it's a greater than b else a is less than b so if we said if we made if we make b as 50 now is less than b now the else statement will be executed because now b is greater than a see 10 is less than 50 so a is less than 50 the third decision making is the else if statement it's like doing another if condition is true or false value so basically we have more branches so we have an expression if it's true a certain condition we we run the statement of branch one if the condition is true for else if for uh, another uh, expression we execute the statement of branch to else we execute execute the else uh, branch which is usually we call it default so we have more branches actually we can have multiple else if so we can have branch two three four five so let's do it here so we can add else if 
and we can say if a a equal equals b then print the same code and we can say a equals b so let's make a equal 50 now both are equals we run it so 50 equals 50 so as you can see now here we have through bran three branches the main one is the if statement if it's a greater than b then print a greater than b if a equals b then print a, a equals b else then a is less than b which this is a default uh, branch statement or statement branch the third one is the switch in switch actually it's getting more complicated where is used to uh, when you have multiple possibilities for the if statement so instead of using keep using else if else if like you can have multiple else if here and you can actually put different conditions so you can have another else if this is actually is going to be a, e even harder to read or harder to understand so the easiest way is to use a state a switch command let me just comment the if statement and we use the, the switch command so in switch basically we have let's say we call switch and in switch we use actually integer values to define so we can say switch a and this is the block of the switch so we have something we call it case in switch so if in case actually it represent the uh, the possibilities of the value a so if it's a equals 1 then you print if the value of a is percentage D and we have we can have another case need to mention that for each case you need to break if you don't have this break statement you will you will execute all the cases so once you r run case one here you break and you exit from the switch uh, block so we have case two for example and we can actually say print if and we can say this is as an example a second choice and we have break we can have as many cases as we want for example we can have case 3 it can be actually it's not necessarily three. it can be 5 or 10 or 9 it's, it has to be integer and we can print something like or we can say uh, we can add some values like we have a and b here we can say a a equal a plus plus b and then we can print a again we just copy copy a sorry so now yeah 
we keep we can do as many as we can then we can we, uh, the last usually uh, branch is the default so we can have default it says here like the default branch when when none of, none of these cases actually is valid we go to the default print f and you can say this is the default default branch and break okay which means that if none of the cases actually are va are valid like if a is not 1 or 2 or 10 then we go for the default usually you need to have a default uh, branch otherwise the switch uh, command will not execute anything so now we have different uh, cases in our case now a is equal 50 since 50 is none of these we will go to the default let's run it and see which branch will be executed yes see because it's a is equal 50 this is the default branch so basically we went to the default branch let's make a equal 1 equals 1 The value is of A is 1, so basically we executed the, the first branch. If we make it like A equal 10, equals 10, so basically what we will do, we will add A plus B, so we will add 10 plus 50 equals 60, and then we print A. So basically we will see the value of A is equal 60. So let's run it and see if this is right. Yeah, so the value of A is equal 60. That's it for today. Thank you.